You always wanted to become a scientist, but what if I tell you that you can become not just a life science biologist or bioprofessional or scientist, but you can become a data scientist as a beginner. Well, what are the steps you should take? What exactly is data science in biology and how exactly you should strategize? What companies are hiring? All of that in this one single video. So let's quickly get started. Number one point is why am I making this video? The reason is now IT and BT are inseparable. So much so that the Karnataka government has the IT-BT ministries merged into IT-BT now, right? So basically you cannot say that information technology is a separate domain and biology is a separate domain anymore thanks to technology. Well, technology has always amazed us with all the newest advances which we are seeing. You can see where technology is going how IT is playing an important role into this biology, this revolutionary biology that we are going to look at today. Now to start with what exactly is data science and how exactly you should strategize for it. So data science is a multidisciplinary field where you're combining statistics, computational tools and the domain knowledge of your biology to extract meaningful insights from data. Now having said that, why exactly data science for life science? Right? I mean, life is moving smooth. Why do you need another science inside already existing science? Well, the truth is every life science experiment generates data. So let me give you an example. So a plane took off today morning from Delhi and it is about to land to Mumbai. So imagine how many data points was generated, right? Temperature differences, pressure differences, direction, a lot of other parameters, right? But did anybody bother what were the data generated because of the biological changes in the passengers? Nobody bothered, right? So now with the advent of space biology, data science in life science is becoming even more important. Life science is generating massive amount of data and all of that data, whether it is biological data, clinical data, such as genomics, proteomics, clinical trials data, imaging data, that is radio imaging, and many more, all of that has to be read, interpreted, and then extrapolated. All of that can be done in data science. So that is where the artificial intelligence and machine learning is also going to play a very important role in healthcare and biotech domain. But as a beginner, how exactly you can make a career in data science while you are studying biology. Now, let me tell you one simple reason why you, sh you must attend to this is because a data scientist from IT will not have domain, deep domain expertise of biotech right? But you can always learn data science and have the IT skills and combine it with your BT data and come to a conclusion which is meaningful and which helps your experiment to progress forward. So that is where data science is needed for life science graduates and post graduates. Now you are sequencing data, you are analyzing the protein structures, this is generating petabytes of data. Now in IT also, they don't generate petabytes of data, right? But you are generating with genomics, proteomics, all the omics. Now coming to drug discovery, you are now designing data-driven models based on the functional group, based on the molecular identification, trial optimization, and approvals. So accordingly, you are designing that drug discovery strategy. Moving ahead, in the healthcare, we are seeing precision medicine. So we are now using predictive analytics for disease diagnosis, personalized treatment plans for oncology. Just yesterday, we have the news that now Infosys has invested in a company called as 4Base Care. They've taken a 20% stake for eight and a half crores. That means the company is valued now at 40 crores, 40, 41 crores, and they are into big data biology. So agriculture and biotechnology, again, there also you can apply the data. So yield production, genome editing of crops in the output, optimizing the resources, all of that is all data being generated. Now coming to environmental studies, you can see the pollution. So now governments are interested in data-driven ecosystem modeling to address climate change impact. So that is where you can come into picture. These are the areas where you can apply your data scientist skill set to change the world. And I believe personally that, okay, you earn money, but change the world as well. And this is one field where all you need is a laptop, some skills, which I'm about to tell you, and you can change the world, right? See, the experiments has already been done, but the data has never been interpreted. And data has not been interpreted in the right and meaningful way. Data has not been extrapolated in the right and meaningful way because we never had the softwares and the computing power which we have today. Now that we have it today, the sad part is 
my life science graduates and post graduates don't have the skill set that is why biotechnica is here to guide you mentor you support you and tell you what exactly is the skill set required so let, let's dive in now to the skill set part of today's video now like i have told you earlier so life science uh, graduates already uh, you all are learning the bioinformatics and ai ml in biotechnica right so let's fuse all of that together and that is what makes you a data scientist right so you have the technical skills where we come first is programming skills so you need python and r which is the most widely used language in data science next you need to have basics correct syntax libraries like pandas numpy scipy biopython all of that you have to learn so of course biotechnica has that training you can always learn then you have to be very good at statistics and mathematics right so it's data right so you cannot avoid mathematics so if you are someone who loves implementing mathematical models into science into life science then this field is for you now for those who feel that hey i don't have very good mathematics you don't have to know differentiation integration that was a part which you were scared of right relax this is all about being able to do interpretation of data so you need addition multiplication division subtraction now, of course you have softwares like calculators to help you so it's not that you have to do everything on your own but definitely if you have an aptitude logical reasoning uh, type of brain then this field will help you grow faster okay so now coming to the data visualization skills so you need to learn tools like matplotlib seaborn power by and tableau now these are the softwares which is already available and of course biotechnica can train you on that then comes the machine learning and ai part so you see data got generated in the experiment now that data has pattern right so that pattern has to be analyzed right and that is where machine learning algorithm comes into picture so using r and python you will be able to develop that algorithm and then find the patterns it's very important if you find the patterns then only you can find what can happen out of this right so basics of biology needed omics needed genomics proteomics transcriptomics metabolomics clinical data types you should understand you have to have basic algorithms correct like regression modeling classification clustering then bioinformatics applications of uh, in machine learning all of that you have to learn and you have to learn tools like blast bioconductor cytoscape and genome browsers and all of that is included in our training program which we have for data science so you can always enroll there otherwise you can separately enroll for bioinformatics and ai ml and that's what is all about now come coming to the question is okay i have learned all the skills i understood the importance but how to start my career remember this is a beginners guide right so here is what you should do now i'm about to tell you the best way to start your career in data science as a life science graduate or post graduate you don't need a phd that's the first thing the second thing is senior scientist of today was also a beginner some day right so you have to start some day to become a specialist so this is today right so okay what you have to do take the beginner course on python and r you can always take it from biotechnica we have the coding for biologist initiative then you have to brush up the concepts like genomics proteomics metabolomics transcriptomics drug discovery i mean all of that will be included in our data scientist course then focus on data handling and visualization so what do you have to do under this you have to practice handling of biological data from repositories now what are those repositories you have ncbi you have embl you have geo all of that you have to do now you have to work on the creating a meaningful chart and analyze using the bio python python and r languages now step 3 will be using machine learning basics so again now all of this will sound like okay oh my god it sounds stuff but don't worry with the help of biotechnica scientists we can help you there so the third step will be understanding the machine learning basics now you will learn how to design a ml algorithm that is machine learning algorithm and how to use that to predict a biological outcome so first you understand the pattern like okay why exactly it is like this and then find out what can be the possible outcome of this kind of a pattern now for example you are classifying cancer detection model so you have the data of all the metastasis and all the oncogenetic markers now what you do is you use that big data so it will be in petabytes you analyze using machine learning and come to a conclusion that if the data is like this this is what can happen so that's where understanding the machine learning basics will be helpful now step 4 will be once you have done all the three steps you have to build your cv so build a portfolio so for that you have to publish papers now remember in biology 
publishing paper is tough in machine learning publishing paper is tough but when you combine biology and machine learning there is no such papers very less people have published so it will be very easy to get published okay in the top notch journals that's how you build your portfolio do with a small project so what you can do you can join our swedish project okay analyze the data sets it can be a genomic data set which we are working on we have a cancer data set also available we have a dengue data set available we have uh, various data sets available you can work on that do uh, you will also give you some clinical trials data you can analyze that also then use the open source um, softwares like kaggle github and bioinformatics competitions also you can participate many of our students are doing that you can go and publish in conferences you can go and publish in various workshops and that's where you build your portfolio right and then of course you will once you've done a work with us so when you do project with biotechnica we will give you the project experience certificate okay and that will help you and if you are able to publish your paper also in top notch journals you will get a recommendation letter also from me and that carries a lot of weightage because most of the people in the life science and biotech space know me no biotechnica so it will be very easy to get a job and of course biotechnica has a placement cell so after doing this project and internship you will be placed in top notch data science companies as well as big data biology companies across the globe and the starting salary here is in between 6 lakhs per annum it goes up to 24 lakhs per annum as you gain experience because you are handling big data and that is why they reward you with a lot of money now what kind of career opportunities you can get as a data scientist in the life science domain so you'll start as a bioinformatics analyst okay then you might start as a data science intern based on the company so in pharma or biotech company then you will if you get into the clinical research domain you can become a clinical data analyst or a clinical data manager you can also become a biostatistician or you can become a ai ml associate in healthcare or hospitals so that's where it comes now what are the industries which are currently hiring for data scientists now number one will be pharmaceutical companies like pfizer novartis then you have research labs and cros in india and across the globe which are hiring hospitals and precision medicine startups such as four base care such as aragen such as elosi data all these are hiring now agri biotech companies are also hiring because they also want to analyze the data which is coming from agriculture and help farmers increase the output followed by that environmental analytics companies are also hiring data scientists in life science so that is where you come into picture now the question is how soon you can become a data scientist number one will be see it takes up to 6 months to 9 months to gain the expertise and another 3 months to search for the job so i'll say 12 months from today so let's say that first 3 months you learn and master python r and then you will start handling biological data so first month you will do the group training with us then we'll put you in the project so you start handling the biological data you fail okay first next 6 months you will fail so you will fail you will ask the scientist the project guide to guide you and then you you again fail go back and ask him so that is how you learn the basics of ai ml algorithm and tools followed with that you will work on some bioinformatics projects and then you will start learning the advanced part towards the end of 6 months and big, uh, you know towards the beginning of 9th month you would be a master and you would have built a portfolio you will start applying to various companies and that's how you will get this job now quick question you might have is where i can get all of this information the answer is simple biotechnica has a data science for biologist course and internship as well as project available with our swedish partners all you have to do is click on the link in the description you can directly connect to us through whatsapp and you can be chatting with me and our team and then you can learn the big data biology you can learn the how to become a data scientist in biology and then you can learn all the tools open source as well as proprietary tools and then you can become a data scientist now remember it is very easy to say that okay it is uh, just a one years job but you'll have to pass through a rigorous training process followed by that project followed by that you will be on a job hunt where we will assist you and then finally you get a job so within one years time i have seen people getting placed within 6 months also but within one years time you could be earning up to 12 lakhs per annum salary if you get started today like i said in the beginning a senior scientist of today was also a beginner some day right and that is you today you are beginning you're getting started but one year from today you can be a expert in this industry so what are you waiting for please go ahead and ask your question in the comment section and i will be sure to answer you there otherwise i'll definitely make a separate video just for you so what are you thinking go ahead comment below and thank you so much for watching this long video i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye